this weekend I am in Mexico. I am here in Cabo San Lucas with my parents. We are celebrating two or three actually huge birthdays. Both my parents' 70th birthday and my 35th. I mean, all big birthdays here. We checked into the Gran Valleas Resort, which is an all-inclusive resort here in Cabo San Lucas and has seven restaurants included. Yes. Seven of them. There's no like extras or whatever, which include also a restaurant by a two Michelin star chef. I mean, I am so excited. We are going there tomorrow night. The rooms are huge. Um, we just got the most basic room, and all their rooms are started at a thousand square feet and all have ocean views. I mean, you have to take a look at the view that we have here. There is part of the hotel and then in this area is where you go to check in. They welcome you with a glass of Verclico champagne and a head, neck and shoulders massage. I mean, that's the best welcome amenity I've ever experienced in my whole life at a hotel. Um, here you have three pools. You have the, in the kids pool, the family pool, and then the adults pool, which is an infinity pool overlooking the ocean. Uh, there are seven restaurants here, so there's Azul the Buffet, and then there's a Italian one called Luca, a Mexican one called Frida, and then the fancy one which is um, Cochina Ator, and then they have a, a ceviche restaurant which is called Cabrilla, and then also they have the pool that you can eat at, and then there is Valleas 10 which is the uh, steak and seafood restaurant which we ate at for Thanksgiving last night. Yep, we were here for Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving dinner was actually really beautiful and so, so good. I mean, look at this incredible resort and view. When we arrived in Cabo, we were greeted by our private transfer with fresh, cool towels and cold water bottles. It's so nice when you get off the plane because you can immediately feel the heat. The hotel is about a 30 minute drive from the airport and we were greeted with the best welcome amenity, a glass of champagne and a massage. Um, yes, please. Just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. We paid to stay here and loved it. For lunch, we ate at Cabrilla, the ceviche bar, unlimited ceviche, women. After lunch, we checked into our room. We stayed in an ambassador suite with ocean views. This is one of their entry level rooms and it was huge. The great thing about this hotel is that every room is a suite, so you really can't go wrong. The bathrooms are huge and spacious with double sink, shower, bathtub. This was my first time staying at an all-inclusive resort and I actually really loved it. I really like the fact that room service was included in the rooms and my favorite part, the unlimited mini bar, which came with a free bottle of mezcal and everything that you can think of. Don't be shy here because it is replaced daily. Yes, daily. Just in case there's not enough free food included in your stay, they include more food in your room. The beds in the room are big and comfy. The color tones in the room are cool and neutral. And my other favorite parts are the balcony and the view. Honestly, this resort is so pretty. You immediately feel relaxed and just like you're on vacation. For dinner, we had a reservation at Vallejas 10, which was hosting Thanksgiving. Before coming, I did a ton of research on whether we should go down the all-inclusive route or not. I compared the cost of what it would have been if we had stayed in a luxury hotel, paid for restaurants, etc. When we go on vacation, my family, we really like to treat ourselves and my dad and I definitely like to enjoy our wine. When I did the math, you know, it came to be pretty much about the same. So we're like, let's just give it a try. And we were so happy that we did. The meat was super tender. The sides were sweet and savory and the unlimited wine just felt like an added bonus. Good morning, so we decided to have a bit of a sleep in and order some room service for breakfast. Uh, all the room service is included here, which is amazing. We are now ready and about to set, head to San Jose, which is supposed to be Cabo's elegant little sister. So let's go. Before heading out, first stop, coffee. 
San Jose de Cabo is a 20 minute drive from the hotel, roughly $25 in the taxi. Make sure you bring cash. From the moment you get there, you're hooked with the cobblestone streets and the eclectic shops. This is a great place to get something cute for your house to remember your trip by. Good morning. So today we're kind of having a chill day. It's Sunday here in Mexico. Uh, yesterday we walked around Cabo. <laughs> Yesterday we walked around San Jose Old Town, which was really really cute. Lots of colorful buildings, art galleries, sweet little boutiques. Um, it was quite quiet when we went there. I think it was Siesta, which is between 2 and 5. I don't know, I'll check that. But um, a lot of things were closed and it was really really quiet, which was fine. Um, but um, we decided to come back to the hotel to have lunch and chill out by the pool since it was a sunny day. And uh, so we had some drinks at the pool. The hotel was really really nice. I brought a bottle of champagne for my birthday. Day. and then we went for a mezcal tasting which was really cool we learned a lot about um, tequila and mezcal and how they're made differently and then we went to do that yeah after breakfast we booked massages at the spa which specializes in hydrotherapy to relieve tension and healing mexican rituals with desert elements this was one of my favorite parts of the trip Cabo's weather is great for most of the year with peak season between mid-December to mid-April for whale watching with temperatures in the high 70s, low 80s Fahrenheit. They say the best time to come is between May and June when it's less crowded and the weather is still nice and balmy. We went in late November and it was perfect. Just make sure to note that hurricane season is between June to November and the month you'll definitely want to avoid is March with the spring break party crowd. Speaking of partying, no trip to Cabo is complete without going to the office, which is located in downtown Cabo. This place is an institution and is definitely a fun experience. How's the mezcal, Dad? It's very good. This one is very good. I don't know. It's my first experience, really, but I don't know, but this one is very good. I finished my three glasses. <laughs> three glasses? Three glasses, three shots. And then I got a, a half, a tiny, the baby one. Just before happy hours. Santé. A tous et à tout le monde. Yeah, it's soft. It's not like you're killing yourself. Oh my god, I just died. It's not like you are killing yourself. <laughs> no, but you live. But you live. Uh, happy hours, uh, bon appétit, and. Uh, Salute! Salute, that's it. Chin chin. A votre santé, glu glu glu. <laughs> Pretty good though. Ah. Mezcal. It's the house mezcal. <laughs> it's the house mezcal yep. of the hotel. It's good, but which still, comes complimentary awesome. with the room and is actually really good. Yeah. And, but my dad, I don't know if he's the best salesperson on Whoa. it, but it's actually yeah, pretty yeah. good. In case you're not familiar with mezcal, it's a smoky tequila which has been made from the roasted agave plant, which gives it that smoky flavor. Our favorite restaurant on the trip, hands down, was Frida. This is the hotel's Mexican restaurant, and it was so good that we came back here twice. The fact that you can order whatever you want on the menu is amazing and slightly dangerous. Since my dad's a chef and loved their crispy barbacoa tacos so much, they invited us back into the kitchen to see how they were made. The staff here are super friendly and it just felt like the perfect way to end our trip. We honestly had the best time in Cabo and really can't wait to come back. I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Now I'm gonna go get myself a margarita.